A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajeem Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim As-Salatu Wassalamu Ala Muhammadin Wa Alihi Al-Tayyibin Al-Tahirin Assalamu Alaikum Wa Rahmatullahi Wa Barakatuh And oh my goodness, we've got one third of the month over So good time now to start preparing for Laylatul Qadr I've been talking about it for a few days But now it's getting really really serious We've got just over a week left Write down what you want physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. What are your aspirations for the year? What you want to go? You want to be the best. And write down all the things that will make you the best. More so than anything else, you want to be able to understand this Quran. You want to be able to fall in love with this Quran. So, think about that. But let's start first with the recitation of the first ayah of Juz 11. Now let's see what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says here. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يعتذرون إليكم إذا رجعتم إليهم قل لا تعتذروا لن نؤمن لكم قد نبعنا الله من أخباركم وسير الله عملكم ورسوله ثم تردون إلى عالم الغيب والشهادة فينبئكم بما كنتم تعملون so what happens? Allah says they are making excuses when you go back to them. From where? This is talking historically about the expedition of Tabuk. It was the Battle of Tabuk or the expedition to Tabuk basically. Not a battle, a battle of Tabuk. And Allah is telling them they are going to present their excuses to you when you get back to them. What does Allah say? What What is the Prophet supposed to tell them? He says, Qul. لا تأطيروا. Don't make excuses. We're not going to believe you. You know, Allah has already told us about your news. قد نبعنا الله من أخباركم. He's told us all about you. And Allah and his messenger know. That means Allah has told his messenger about you. So the Prophet is warned here that these people will make all sorts of excuses when you come back. Well, we couldn't go for this and we couldn't go for that. But he says, look, don't make excuses. Don't have this big meeting about excuses because Allah knows and he will tell you what you did. So to you and me, it's to learn that the truth is the truth. We can't make excuses about anything. You know, we can't say, well, Allah knows. Just to be in our heads to know that He knows. Alim al ghaybi wa shahadzi. He is the knower of the seen and the unseen. And He knows exactly what's happening. So, to be able to be truthful to oneself is one of the major things we can do in this month. Let's now read the du'as for the month of Ramadan. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا علي يا عظيم يا غفور يا رحيم أنت الرب العظيم الذي ليس كمثله شيء وهو السميع البصير وهذا شهر أذمته وكرمته وشرفته وفضلته على الشهور وهو الشهر الذي فرضت صيامه عليه وهو شهر رمضان الذي أنزلت فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان وجعلت فيه ليلة القدر وجعلتها خيرا من ألف شهر فيا ذا المني ولا يمن عليك من علي بفكاك رقبتي من النار في من تمن علي وادخلني الجنة برحمتك يا أرحم الراهمين اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم أدكل على أهل الكبور السرور اللهم أغني كل فقير اللهم أشبئ كل جائع اللهم اكسو كل عريان اللهم اقضي دين كل مدين اللهم فرجا كل مكروب اللهم رد كل غريب اللهم فك كل سير اللهم اصلح كل فاسد من امور المسلمين اللهم اشفي كل مريض اللهم سد فقرنا بغناك اللهم غير سوء حالنا بحسن حالك اللهم اقض ان الدين واغننا من الفقر انك على كل شيء قدير 
اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم رب شهر رمضان الذي أنزلت فيه القرآن وافترضت على عبادك فيه الصيام صل على محمد وآل محمد ورزقني حج بيتك الحرام في عام هذا وفي كل عام واغفر لي تلك الذنوب العظام فإنه لا يغفرها غيرك يا رحمن يا علام We will now recite the dua for the 11th day of the month of Ramadan. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد اللهم حبب إلي فيه الإحسان وكره إلي فيه الفسوق والعسيان وحرم علي فيه السخط والنيران بعونك يا غياث المستغيثين يا غياث المستغيثين Oh Allah, on this day, make me love all that which is goodness, beyond goodness. Make me hate corruption and disobedience. Take me away, take me away from putting me in front of your anger and the fire. With your help, be awnika, ya ghiyath al Oh, the helper of those who seeks help. Now today, our focus has been Surat al qamar and today we're going to look at section one. So, Surah al Kamar, Surah number 54, 55 ayat, eight sections. Can you remember that? And also remember, Kamar, moon. Now that's something you've got to remember. And the first section is all about the moon. So, the focus, the splitting of the moon, there are these people who didn't believe in divine guidance. They even went on to kill their prophets. And the emphasis, four times Allah says, the Qur'an is easy to remember if you put in a little bit of effort. So that's the ayah over here. Now, always good to recite the surah if you're facing difficulties. It will make them easier and you'll get the respect of people. But today we're going to look at section one, which is the miracle of the splitting of the moon. So let's start. So if you're ready, we're going to start first with the story. So let's see what happens. So this is the story. You see, the Makkans, they believed that anything they saw which didn't make sense to them, they called it magic. And they thought that magic only happened on things that you do in the world. So anything that was done on earth was magical. And anything that could be done anywhere else could be a miracle. So they tell the Prophet, we're going to become Muslims. We'll believe in your God. I'm not going to believe you as the Prophet if you bring us a miracle. So the Prophet said, okay, and they said, but we don't anything on earth because that can be magic. We want you to do something in the heavens. He said, okay. So they go out of, out, in, they go out of the city and they go to the mountain of Mount Hira. Now some say it could be, there's a range of mountains called Abu Qubais and mountain of Kanaki, it doesn't matter. But let's just imagine this is one mountain and you're looking at Mount Hira. And the moon is there. It is the full moon. So it's got to be the night of the 15th. Okay. So some say the Hijja. It doesn't matter. So there we go. There's the moon. The prophet points to the moon. Oh, and oh my goodness. The moon splits. And they could see the moon on either side of Mount Hira. And they were so shocked. And then the prophet points to it again. And the halves join. But you know what they do? They just say... Wow, this is some sort of magic. Let's see what the Quran says. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Iqtarabat as-sa'a. Allah says that iqtaraba means to come near. So the day of judgment is near. You see, they didn't believe that there'd be a day of judgment. They thought death would be the end and they wouldn't have to be accountable for anything. One shaq al-qamar. And the moon was split into two. The moon was split apart. Now Allah says, وَإِنْ يَرَوْ آيَةً If they see a miracle, يُعْرِضُوا So when they see a, a, a miracle, they will just ignore it. وَيَقُولُوا And they will say, سِحْرٌ مُسْتَمِرْ Sihr is magic. Mustamir, this is continuously. This is just magic. This is, you know. So whatever miracle you would show them, they would say the same thing. They would continually say, it's magic. They called it a lie. They just followed their own insides because they didn't want to believe in accountability. But you know what? It's a done deal. Their time will come. 
Allah says, and we give you news. And sometimes in the news, there's a bit of scolding. So, you know, the people who scold you the most, who tell you off the most, are the ones who loves you. When your mama tells you off about not brushing your teeth or not cleaning your room or whatever it is, it's because she loves you a lot. So Allah says, I'm telling you this because I love you. You've got to understand that you can't go on being bad. You've got to, you know, it, everything is recorded, whatever you do. He says, Hikmatun balika, there is wisdom in scolding. But, you know, it doesn't matter. They don't even work. They, they don't even think about being warned. In other words, the warnings have no effect on them. So the Prophet is told, they're not going to listen, just turn away. And they wait for the day. That day, the trumpet will be blown and it will be a day which will be something they don't like. This is talking about the day of judgment. Their eyes will be full of horror because they think, oh my goodness, all the bad we've done. Now we've got to account for it. They will come out of their graves. Ajdaf is unmarked graves. Like scattered locusts. You know what locusts are? There's these little insects that fly around everywhere. And they'll just be flying around. Now, hata'a, when you, when you look at the word hata'a, literally means when somebody's running towards a target. So Allah says they, they will be going towards the trumpet thinking, maybe we'll find a solution there. But no, they didn't think in the world. When they were alive, they didn't think they were accountable. Yakulul kafirun, and those who cover up the truth will say, Hada yawmun asir. This day is very difficult. Why is it difficult? Because they didn't prepare for it, because they didn't believe that they would be accountable. So, what I'd like you to do is think about the first section of Surah Al Qamar. Eight sections. First section, always think it's talking about the miracle of the splitting of the moon. But to these people who did not believe in the day of Qiyamah, they did not believe in the day of judgment, you could bring them whatever signs you like. They will just not believe, even when they saw the splitting of the moon. Now, it's a good idea to also learn about the importance of the moon. Our whole calendar is based on the on the moon. You know, the first of the month is based on the moon. We have the middle of the moon. You know, 13, 14, 15 are really important days. They're known as Ayam ul Bid. So phases of the moon, really important to learn. So let us end today with the Surah Al-Fatiha and the Dua for protection. Uh, please recite with me. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Malik Yawm al-Din Iyaka na'budu wa Iyaka nasta'in Ihdina al-Sirat al-Mustaqim Sirat al-Ladina an-Amta alayhim Ghayri al-Maghzubi alayhim Walad-Zalleen Let's pray to Allah to give the thoughts of the Marhumeen All those who are ill, all those who are in trouble لخمسةٍ أتفي بها هر الوباء الحاتمة المستفى والمرتضى وأبناهما والفاتمة إن شاء الله سيد تمارا في مال الله كريم